summer waters may be just around the corner after an unpredictable spring runoff season. But first, we need to get through a couple of weeks with dangerously high water from that runoff. Fox 13 News reporter Lucy Nelson joins us live from Knutson Park in Holiday to show us what we can expect. Lucy. Well, the good news is a few creeks, Emigration Creek and Red Butte Creek, going into Salt Lake City have reached their peak levels. But Mayor Jenny Wilson of Salt Lake County says there are still several others, like Big Cottonwood Creek here, that won't reach their peak levels until next week. We have a toddler that loves being in the water, so... Whenever he sees water, he wants to get in it. Gina Stollagram used to take her little boy on walks along Big Cottonwood Creek. Now she keeps him far from the rapidly rushing water. You have to be really careful and then hold on to him. Our streams are running at incredibly high levels. That's uh, not news to anyone. Mayors of Salt Lake County and City Jenny Wilson and Aaron Mendenhall say the end of the fierce flooding could be just around the corner. The immigration in Red Butte Creeks have already peaked and we're seeing uh, manageable levels anticipated in the other two creeks that come down into Salt Lake City. So crews will continue to clear those grates and pinch points. Crews working around the clock to clear debris and other creeks like Big and Little Cottonwood will continue to rise in upcoming weeks before finally falling. Our detention ponds are often um, ebbing and flowing on purpose and we're just really wanting to emphasize safety for your family, for your pets, your dogs on leashes when you're out and about. Fox 13 Weather Authority meteorologist Breck Bolton says it's imperative people are careful near these creeks. The average NFL player is three cubic feet in size. Now when you're talking about a river flowing at 800, 900 cubic feet per second, that's like the whole NFL coming in at once. So that's the situation here. This is why we say we just don't want to see someone fall in the stream because you do not stand a chance. He says there's still concern for upper elevation snowpack and weather in upcoming weeks will play a critical role in determining how manageable the high water levels will be. So we are in a good situation leading up to the month of June and looking ahead right now with the weather forecast, we're looking at warm temperatures, but again, not accelerating that, and seeing extreme heat or record breaking heat. The end is in sight and we're still anticipating over these coming days the peaks of two of the creeks here in Salt Lake City, but our system should be able to manage the flow. Sandy and now Utah County are in a state of emergency because of spring runoff there. We'll have details from that news conference in Sandy tomorrow. For now, live in holiday, Lucy Nelson, Fox 13 News, Utah.